Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Reiboot. If you've ever come across any issues with your iOS device, rather you're constantly stuck on an Apple logo, a reboot loop, a black screen, just stuck, Reiboot offers a standard repair which fix up to 150 iOS issues with no data loss. If you have more serious problems, you have the deep repair which allows you to restore your device back to factory working order and you can enter and exit recovery mode with one single click. So check out Reiboot. Links will be in the description down below. Hey guys, I know so here, welcome back to the channel, and we're about a month to a month and a half away from Apple releasing iOS 15 to the general public. Today is August the 16th, and if history is any indication, iOS 15 should be released within a month to a month and a half at the latest, mid to late September. And in this video, we're going to talk about expected release dates for the next beta because Apple is currently on a two weeks release schedule for new betas, and at some point, they will be switching to a weekly release schedule, so things start ramping up before the official release so we're going to talk about that here in this video and we're also going to talk about additional features to expect before the official release there are actually quite a bit to improve here yet and quite a bit to enable starting with the universal control for iPad this has yet to be debuted on iPad OS 15 where you can seamlessly carry your workflow over from iPad onto the Mac that feature has yet to be enabled so universal control is one of those things that we're expecting for iPad OS before Apple officially announces iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 to the general public. We can also expect additional features for the AirPods. In case you didn't know, Apple does run the AirPods beta software. I do have a videos on those. You can find those in the description down below. Apple has already enabled spatial audio for FaceTime. We also have Dolby Atmos for Apple Music, Conversation Boost, and Ambient Noise Reduction, but we're still expecting about three additional features. We have the proximity view, which is yet to be enabled this will allow you to find your airpods within the find my network very similar to what apple is doing with air tags and we're also expecting separation alerts where if you leave your airpods behind your iphone will notify you that you left your airpods behind and background sounds is also a feature that isn't working as intended at least for me it isn't so about three additional features and changes coming to airpods with ios 15 in addition to the ones that we already have now there's also a feature that i've been waiting for which is called driver's license and IDs for the Apple wallet. Apple will soon be rolling this out. This is going to be a U.S. Uh, feature first, and not every single state within the United States will have uh, this ability to add the driver's license to the wallet application of your iPhone. But if you do, within the next beta or two, Apple should be releasing this new feature and adding it to the wallet of iOS 15 in order for users to take advantage of this new feature. This is also going to work with IDs for school and campuses and things like that so yeah this is something that a lot of users really want we can also expect additional changes with safari now apple is continuing to tweak the safari experience uh, i'm kind of in the middle i kind of like it but at the same time i don't uh, apple will continue tweaking safari maybe additional tweaks to the widget as well so the interaction with widgets may change uh, also the way the uh, widgets behave could change before the official launch but the bigger question question is when will Apple switch to a weekly release schedule for iOS 15 when can we expect beta 6 well if history is any indication this could be the time when Apple does switch to a weekly release schedule ever since beta 1 there's been two to two and a half weeks in between betas now we're in August 16th as I mentioned uh, iOS 15 final should be out within a month from now or a month and a half a month and a week or so so we're just really close here and if this week is the week that apple switches to a weekly release schedule the next beta should be available this week within the 16th through the 20th that's when we can expect ios 15 developer beta 6 with additional features and changes and features that we're still expecting for the software here so let me know what you think in the comments down below how is ios 15 working for you so far let me know your thoughts in the comments down below the software the battery the performance especially if you have an older device iphone 6s iphone 6s plus iphone 7 7 plus i would like to hear from you in those comments down below thank you for watching this quick update video and i'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.